Hi everyone. So <clears throat> one of the things that I have to deal with as a father, as a parent, is that often I have to deal with a, a child that can't seem to pull away, pull themselves away from video games. That's always a big problem. And my situation, like most other parents in America, I have to also deal with a uh, preteen child that seems to not be able to give up her time with video games. So I don't know if you can see my child here behind me, but one of the things, one of the tips that I like to give to parents when you're dealing with a child that cannot um, deal with or that cannot pull themselves away from a video game, first rule, first, first tip, <clears throat> take the controller no, away from them. Okay, you take the controller away from them. I'm gonna die. And as soon as they start talking about how they can't function with it without it, oh, I die. Then you do the second, the second thing. The second thing is, you take, you take the remote control no. with the on and off button, no, 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 no. and then you turn it off the television. So now the television is off, the game is off. Voila, we have a child that's not. Still on my phone. Occupied. So now you might come to the third problem where they have a cell phone where they can't seem to pull themselves away from the cell phone. Very simple. You take the cell phone away. No. <laughs> take a look if you have to. Take the cell phone away. Now they don't have the cell phone, they don't have the game, and the television is turned off. So parents out there, if you have a child that does not want to listen and doesn't want to stop playing video games, follow these three rules, these three tips, and you will have possession of your child again. Have a nice day.